This is the Henry Long Ranger Express and it is chambered in 5.56 NATO. Some of you may be asking, why would you have a lever action chambered in 5.56? And to that I would reply, Right, for Christ's sake, why? Hey! Why? Why, because we f***ing can! Because we f***ing can! And if we can, we do! When I first heard about the Long Ranger Express, I thought it would be awesome to have a lever action chambered in 223 or 556, but some of the guys I shoot with weren't as sure, but as soon as I put it in their hands and they fired a few rounds, they unanimously agreed that a 223 lever gun was a great idea. This gives you a lever action with greatly extended range compared to more typical lever action calibers. It's also very lightweight and low recoiling, making it very easy to shoot. Also with the ballistics of 5.56 or 223, you have very little drop out to 300 yards, making shots at those distances very easy. This would make a great coyote or predator hunting rifle, or if you just own some land, it would be a great rifle to keep in the truck to handle any nuisance animals, even at a pretty good distance. There's actually a lot of roles the Henry Long Ranger Express can fill and it can do it in a lightweight slim package and with a caliber that is very plentiful and still somewhat reasonably priced even in today's market. The Long Ranger Express is slightly different than the other guns in the Henry Long Ranger lineup because it comes with a pick rail installed for easy optic mounting. It's also a more compact package with a shorter 16 and a half inch free floated barrel and most importantly a threaded barrel so you can shoot this the civilized way with a silencer. Now this one is threaded 5 8 by 24 but as I understand it future models will be the more typical half by 28 that you find on most 5.56 guns. Not a big deal for me as most of my silencers will adapt to either thread pattern but something to keep in mind. Lever actions make phenomenal suppressor hosts. They're a closed action that eliminates port pop or the sound coming out of the action that you'll get from semi-auto rifles. So they let you truly hear how well your silencer is performing. They also help with recoil a little, making the Long Ranger Express even softer shooting. So the big question is just how accurate is it? And how far can you shoot it? Well, hits inside of 500 yards were actually really easy with the Callaway Ballistics 55 grain. I worked it out to various distances inside 500 yards with ease. I knew from experience if you really want to go past 500 yards with 5.56 and a roughly 16 inch barrel, you really need a heavier projectile. So I loaded up some 77 grain and was able to make some very impressive shots at 750 yards. I have my Long Ranger Express set up with a Primary Arms 1 to 8 SLX first focal plane scope, and this is perfect for how I intend to use the rifle. For me and my shooting, I feel this is about as far as I can push this rifle with this scope. I might be able to go a little bit farther, but for being repeatably accurate, this might be about it. 
Now, I think if you wanted to put a higher magnification scope on it, you could keep going further. I've even shot out to a thousand yards with 5.56 before, and I firmly believe it could be done with this rifle and a higher magnification scope. The Long Ranger Express is impressively accurate as long as the shooter does their job. The Long Ranger Express is actually a magazine fed lever action. Hitting this button will release the five round magazine, so with one in the chamber you can have a total capacity of six. I had never seen a lever action that was magazine fed prior to this, but as it was pointed out to me, probably not a great idea to have a bunch of really pointy rifle rounds bouncing around all lined in a tube. So the magazine is a great idea. We actually got perfect function out of it and it definitely doesn't detract from the lever gun nostalgia for me. Also, you could get a few of these and have them loaded in your pocket for what would be the fastest reload on a lever action possible by just inserting another fully loaded magazine. The Long Ranger Express has this very nice weather resistant birch laminate furniture set that kind of gives a rustic modern look. I guess as modern as a lever action gun can get. It also has a very good trigger pulling at about 4 pounds on my scale, making those shots at distance a little bit easier. We use some pretty impressive accessories with the Henry Long Ranger Express. For scope, we use the Primary Arms SLX 1-8 First Focal Plane Scope. I love Primary Arms and they are my go-to for any scope when I want to get the best I can get for my money no matter what my budget is. And this SLX 1-8 is more of that quality and value. I wanted a low power variable optic that could get the job done without breaking the bank. And I of course wanted it to be first focal plane since I knew I'd be attempting to stretch this out a bit. The SLX got the job done nicely and has been a great addition to this rifle. We tried out a wide array of silencers as well. We used the CGS Helios, which is a very impressive all-round silencer. And then we used the Otter Creek Labs Polonium, which is a very impressive dedicated 5.56 silencer. The Polonium is astonishingly quiet for its size, and we have full videos on both of these silencers. Towards the end of filming, we used the Otter Creek Labs Hydrogen L. This is actually Otter Creek's 30 cal silencer, but it was remarkably quiet on 5.56. And while it is rather long, you barely notice it at the end of the gun because it only weighs 9.3 ounces. And it was the quietest of the group. We'll have a video on the Hydrogen L very soon. As much as I enjoy shooting the Long Ranger Express in 5.56, and as impressive as this offering is, I really hope that Henry makes this rifle in 300 blackout. Because, as we've already stated, lever actions make phenomenal suppressor hosts, and 300 blackout suppresses so well. Plus, it would make for such a handy and quiet package to keep around the ranch or in the back of a pickup to handle any situations that may arise. I hope they do it and I hope they have at least a 1 in 7 twist on the barrel so we can really stretch those subsonic 300 blackout rounds out. That would be my dream lever action, I think. Make it a mare's leg and I'm even more excited. But please, Henry, I beg you, we need a 300 blackout lever action. The Long Ranger Express makes a great utility rifle to have around, and it's just so much fun to shoot without breaking the bank too bad. Plus, it's a great addition to any gun collection. I know that I am very happy that I have one in my collection, and I know it will bring me years of very enjoyable planking. Guys, thank you so much for watching, and a huge thank you goes out to Callaway Ballistics for providing all the 5.56 that we shot in this video. Be sure to go check them out. Guys, if you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. As always, we have some really big reviews in the works. And if you want to know what those reviews are way before they hit the YouTube channel, check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And there you can see what's being reviewed in real time. If you like what you see here on the channel and want to help support Alabama Arsenal, the best possible way to do that is through Patreon. These videos can be surprisingly expensive to make, and every contribution helps no matter what size. There's also Alabama Arsenal gear available right below the video if you want to go out and represent. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching.